So this docking station will allow us to connect up to three external displays. But if we want to use our laptop's internal screen with four displays in total, we can do that as well. It works with Windows and Mac OS. We can place two laptops or one laptop and one tablet or smartphone. And it has a series of connections here at the back and one of the sides so that we only need to connect one single cable to our laptop and then all the peripherals will be connected to the docking station. So if I need to leave my office, I just unplug one cable and that's it. It's called the Pullway Top Triple Display Stand with MST. And this is what will allow us to have not only on Windows, but also on Mac OS, the full capability of triple external display on each of the systems. It also has a really cool design. It's well built, all metallic all around, with the exception of the areas here where we place the laptops or tablets, which have these rubbers to avoid any scratch and also here on the bottom so that we can prevent from sleeping. We can choose to place in two laptops and if we want we just need to connect one cable one to the other so that we can access the displays and the peripherals. So let's imagine that I've got two laptops here. Actually I can place one right over here or right over here and if I have another laptop here I can for example have a Mac OS computer here and then disconnect the cable from this one and connect to the other. This might be useful if we are using a dual operating system and in case we don't have a KVM. Yes, because this one here doesn't have a KVM, it is a docking station, but the design that it has, availability for two computers, it's not a bad idea that we take full advantage of it and for that we just need to unplug and plug the cable, which is not bad at all. Connectivity wise, it has three HDMI ports and two display ports and we can use up to three out Output simultaneously of our choice. So we can use two display ports and one HDMI or any other combination that we have. There's also two USB type C ports for laptop and charger, one gigabit Ethernet port, two USB type A five gigabit slots for SD and micro SD cards, audio output and a USB 2.0 port for mouse and keyboard. And lastly, here on the side, there are also two USB type C ports with power delivery up to 45 watts and two USB type C ports with 10 gigabit speed, which is what we are going to test out. And at this moment with the MacBook Pro with Mac OS, obviously with three displays, but if I want, if I open my laptop, I will have access to the internal display of my laptop, plus the three displays that are here connected to this pullway docking station, which is awesome. This is something that it's not very common, but I've tested on Mac OS, it works, and also on Windows, but we will connect a Windows laptop here in just a few moments. So if we want to use four displays, one of them being the internal uh, laptop display, we will be able to do so at a maximum on the external displays, 4K at 60 Hertz. Now, we will be able to uh, multitask with anything that we want. At this moment, I've got my solar production right over here. I am producing 6,200 and something watts. I've got my batteries completely full and I'm exporting or selling 4,600 and something watts hour to the grid, which is awesome, although the values are not that good, but battery is full, so all is fine. We are going to do some speed tests here. I do have the laptop on the main position. I also have a mobile here, which is not charging. I could charge here on the power deliver, or we could have another laptop as I did test out already, or a tablet. And then one of the things that we can do is disconnect the cable from the laptop and connect to the tablet or to the phone, of course, being limited to what each tablet or phone will be able to do on the displays. Now let's do some speed tests here, actually two. One on the SSD, which is this one here, is the SSD connected to the 10 gigabit connection here on the side. So let's open it up and let's press start. Uh, 10 gigabit limitation, so we are reaching 1300 megabytes per second writes, which is above of the limitation. And right over here, we are reaching 850, which is the normal number. So we are a bit above here on the writes. Actually, 50% above, it's not just a bit. S 
SD card, which is this one here. So let's open it up and start the speed test. So it will ramp up as usual to 600, 500 megabytes per second. But in terms of sustainable speeds by the SD card limitation is around 180 megabytes per second, which is not reaching that speed. We will do another one just to check out here. This is the usual number on this particular SD card. Of course, if we have a faster card, it will have faster results. Nonetheless, 90 megabytes per second is the normal. There we go, doing another test and right now having the more realistic speed, which is about 170, 180 megabytes per second, the limitation of the SD card. And basically that is it in terms of speed tests, in terms of the displays, which we can connect via HDMI or DisplayPort with Mac OS, but also with a Windows computer, which in this particular case, it's an i5. So it's not a gaming dream machine, but it is a machine with a really cool budget. This is the Shui laptop. I did share here a few weeks ago. I will try to leave a link down below, but this to mean that if I want to use this laptop, like we did use the macbook pro just open it up and have the four displays three external plus the internal display of the laptop we can do and this is something once again it's not very common to find on uh, these kind of docking stations so really really cool another thing that i would like to point out is that we will be able to disconnect the laptop and then go to work and once we get, arrive home we connect the cable it will remember our session so I'll, i will have the windows that i had open here on the same place when i left which is really awesome as well not common at all as well now if we go to identify we can see how i do have the arrangement but we can rearrange the way that we want and we can use them obviously the three of them uh, for multitasking i am also like i did with the macbook pro charging the laptop with one single cable anything that i connect to my docking station displays usb sd cards and whatnot everything will have access to the laptop and at the same time we'll be charging just using one single cable so really awesome solution i also have the mobile phone right over here on this place holder which we can use for another laptop or for a big uh, tablet and of course i can also use the keyboard and mouse because we have the trackpad and the keyboard right over here so we have a dedicated uh, usb port so that we can connect keyboard and mouse so it's different it's cool well designed well built and will allow us something that it's not very common which is to have two laptops simultaneously or one laptop and a tablet and then if we want optionally we can just swap the cable and have the two operating systems taking advantage of our triple uh, monitor setup which is awesome the thing that i did enjoy the most is the mst which will allow me to have mac os and windows as well this is something that is not very common usually we will be able to use on windows but what concerns in mac os we have tried many many docking stations in the past and most of them don't have so really really happy to see this present here on the way top which besides the really awesome design which is something not very common as well it's really really smart with these protections and i really enjoyed the experience hopefully you've enjoyed this video and if you did so don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Werther george and as always i'll see you on the next one